Okay, so Foraco is uh, originally a French drilling company, okay, around uh, 60 years old, let's say, okay. So uh, now we are based in uh, 22 countries on five continents, okay, uh, with an uh, imprint in uh, Africa, North America, South, South, Afri South America, and uh, Europe and uh, Australia, okay. So uh, originally we work in uh, France, New Caledonia and Africa, okay. So me, I'm uh, vice president of Africa for Foraco, okay. Foraco is in Africa since uh, 1974, okay. Uh, and uh, so we are, let's say, a global leader uh, servicing provider for mining industry and uh, water industry, okay, with a full range of service uh, regarding uh, that uh, all, all drilling, all kind of drilling. So, on global footprint, we offer which kind of uh, drilling, okay? So, core drilling, rotary drilling, air core drilling, air sea drilling, uh, bulk sampling, uh, water drilling, uh, blast, uh, drill oil and blast, and uh, we offer also uh, deep directional drilling, so it's more in North uh, America, okay, so that uh, permit to uh, monitoring the borehole to do the surveying and also correct the trajectory in case of trouble to meet uh, customer uh, needs. Uh, we do also a large uh, diameter occurring, 8 inches and 9 inches, and uh, we start to use, uh, to build our own remote uh, drilling uh, rigs, okay, which permit uh, our people to to work in a safe place because they are aware of the, the rigs, okay, and it's really more comfortable for them. So that rigs are used in uh, Australia and start to be used also in North America. For sure, uh, I think that each continent is challenging. So, me, I only work in Africa, so I can't speak about my continent. Uh, so, for sure, it's really challenging to work in that in that country. So, we start uh, for Aco, uh, So, we are in Africa since 1974. So, it's really a long time. We come first in Africa for water drilling. Okay. Uh, the first country we arrived, it was in Ivory Coast, and we start uh, to do. Uh, 1,000 uh, uh, water borehole for villages, okay, and we continue like that. So now we we uh, increase our, of what we can propose as water drilling, and so we can make a deep drilling, uh, for example, uh, 800 meters in Niger, or large diameter drilling, what we did uh, in Abidjan, in Côte d'Ivoire, we drill at uh, 24 inches for uh, water supply for the population of uh, Abidjan, okay. And for sure, after we come with all the mining services, so the coring, the RC, uh, underground, etc., etc. So it's uh, Africa, it's an old continent also for mining industry, but uh, it's not uh, really in the mind of people, so it's really challenging to work because uh, sometimes uh, you have to to invent all at the end uh, to do a program or something like that. For example, the most challenging for me, the most challenging uh, program that we have, it was uh, in 2020 and 2021. We have to, we drilled for Montage Girl, which is a company in uh, Ivory Coast. Uh, we drilled uh, 48 uh, kilometers of uh, HQ coring, okay, during the pandemic of uh, COVID-19. And we have to go to six weeks during the pandemic with the borderline closed, uh, nothing coming from uh, France or from Canada for our part, etc., etc., and we have to drill. So, which is very challenging and interesting, okay? So, for water drilling, so, as I told you before, when we came, it was for uh, drilling for villages, okay? So, it was a large program uh, which was funded by uh, uh, Worldwide, etc., etc. And uh, now, so we continue to do this kind of uh, drilling for sure. But after we specialize also to do deep drilling, okay? So for example, in Niger, we drill at 800 meters because there's no water before that. So we have to drill deeper to, to find the water. Uh, in uh, Abidjan, to us, they need a lot of water. We did in large diameter in Abidjan because fortunately for them, there's a lot of water in Abidjan. So we have to drill in 24 inches. So it, we, we can uh, propose each kind of uh, diameter, each kind of drilling solution for water well. So we 
For sure, uh, we have an ESG program uh, in uh, Foraco. We try to follow the United Nations uh, 2030 um, program, the sustainable program. Okay, so based on uh, economic, uh, social, and environment. Okay, so let's say that economic and social. So for my part, for example, in Africa, we have. 98% of uh, the staff, which is uh, local, so Ivorian or Senegalese, Nigerian, Burkina Bay, okay. Uh, so when we say one people working, that means four or six people at all at the end, okay. So uh, we, we touch a lot of people, okay. Most of our supply, local suppliers are, are local, because it's not international company. We, we try to use as soon as possible uh, local suppliers. And uh, we. So, this is the social part of our work, if you want. Uh, we try to employ most of the local people, okay, develop them. And what we try to do also with them and with our customers is, for example, when we are working for mining, as we have a water division, what we try to do is, and, uh, if we are on a, on a building a mining project, start to organize to realize some water wells for the population involved in the project. As that, we give them a water well, which is more uh, touchable, let's say, than uh, money or things like that. You know, when we live, there's a water well and there's wa clean water for people. Yes. Okay. So it's right, what we try to do, and we can do that because we do our own water well. Okay. So it's really more simple for us to, to do that. And uh, on the other side, so we have also focus on environmental, on environmental aspects. So uh, we tr we follow the S E S B uh, sustainable uh, system for the environment, and so uh, it's on uh, mining uh, metal and mining to 2018-10, I think the thing that we follow. And uh, so we start uh, it's to have some uh, rank and uh, to follow, etc. And we follow that since. 2021 okay and try to improve our things our stats etc and see where to push to try to decrease the fuel consumption etc etc so it's what we do since uh, that we follow since three years now and we will more and more continue to follow that to try to to be more environmental friendly 